A piece of wire 10 meters long is cut into two pieces. One piece is bent into a square, and the other is bent into an equilateral triangle. How should the wire be cut so that the total area enclosed is either a maximum or a minimum? You'll notice that you get a different total area every time, depending on where you cut the wire, and which piece you use to form the triangle, and which piece you use to form the square. If I cut the wire into two pieces, I can call the length of one piece L, and the length of the other piece 10 minus L, since the total length of the wire is 10 meters. If I use the piece of length L to form the square, that means each side of my square is length 1 fourth L. To find the area of the square, I just multiply the length and the width together and get 1 16th L squared. Using the piece of length 10 minus L to form the equilateral triangle means that each side of my equilateral triangle is 1 third times 10 minus L. To find the area of the equilateral triangle, I can use the formula for the area of an equilateral triangle, which is square root of 3 over 4 times the square of one side. To get total area, I just add the area of the square to the area of the triangle. This is the equation I want to optimize to find the value of L that minimizes and maximizes total area. To do this, I'll take the derivative of my equation for A, set it equal to zero, and solve for L. This is either the value for L that maximizes area, or the value for L that minimizes area. Keep in mind that we're working with a closed interval, and the value of L cannot be less than zero, and it can't be greater than 10. In a situation like this, I know that maximum and minimum area can be found at values of L at the endpoints, zero or 10, or at the critical point I found. So all I have to do is plug in my endpoints and my critical point and see what value I get back for the area. We can see here that we get the largest area when L is equal to 10 and the smallest area when L is equal to our critical point value. Because we use the piece of wire of length L to create the square, that means that we maximize area when we use the entire wire to create the square and none of it to create the triangle. Because the problem asked us to make a cut, if we have to make a cut, you want to say that we should cut off a piece infinitely small to make the triangle and use as much as possible to make the square. To minimize total area, the length of the piece of wire we use to make the square should be the length given by our critical point, approximately 4.35 meters. The rest, about 5.65 meters, should be used for the triangle.